Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Green Mountain Care Board meeting. My name is Kevin Mullen, Chair of the Board, and we'll start this afternoon's meeting with our Executive Director's Report, Susan Barrett. Good afternoon and hello, everyone. Um, I just have a couple of scheduling announcements. First, to let everyone know that we will not have a board meeting next week, January 6th, 2021. And also that our schedule for the month of January is on our website. If you uh, go on to the Green Mountain Care Board website and look under board meetings and schedules, you'll see that um, listing of all the meetings for the month of January. That includes primary care advisory group meeting, um, a couple of technical advisory group meetings on prescription drugs um, and other events. So please check that out. And that is all I have to report. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you, Susan. Happy New Year to you. The next item are the minutes of Wednesday, December 23rd. Is there a motion? So moved. So moved. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of Wednesday, December 23rd without any additions, deletions, or corrections. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed signify by saying nay. Motion carries unanimously. Okay, now for the purpose of today's meeting, we're going to talk about the all payer model um, future and present negotiations, and I'm going to turn it over to Michael Barber. Mike. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <clears throat> for the record, my name is Michael Barber, the board's general counsel, and um, yeah, I want to talk with you about a uh, potential delegation of authority that I drafted uh, for your review and consideration. Um, as you all know, we're going to have to start working um, with our state and federal partners in the coming weeks and months on either uh, a potential successor agreement or a modification to the existing all-payer model agreement. And um, I think you all can appreciate that that isn't necessarily realistic for a five-person public body to uh, participate in a, a process like that. So the idea here with this um, delegation that I've drafted is to um, just allow the board to be more flexible and nimble and capable of, uh, you know, effectively and efficiently doing that work um, that's going to be required uh, in, in coordination with AHS. Um, and uh, so the board's statutes allow for delegations of authority, um, specifically 18 VSA 9374D uh, states that except for final decisions in regulatory matters over which the board has jurisdiction, a member of the board, a board officer or board employee may perform any service that is within the board's jurisdiction and which the board delegates to the member officer or employee. Uh, the statute also requires the establishment of procedures to ensure that the board remains informed regarding delegated activities. So in accordance with this statute, um, the, the delegation would give uh, fairly broad authority to negotiate on behalf of the board with respect to any amendments or modifications to the agreement um, or any subsequent agreement. Uh, that delegation of authority would not, however, extend to the final decision to sign to sign a, an agreement. That authority would obviously remain with the full board. Um, kind of consistent with the statute, the delegation would also specify uh, that the board would receive updates uh, from time to time regarding the activities pursued under the delegation. Um, obviously, there may be times when there's no update update to provide or when more frequent updates are called called for, but it would just set a kind of baseline expectation of periodic updates. Um, and as you can appreciate, some of these updates may need to occur in an executive session. <clears throat> and the open meetings law, as you know, has a few provisions that would allow you to consider and discuss contractual matters in an executive session. Um, uh, 
obviously two board members is not a quorum uh, and I would suggest that the delegation name two board members here um, and my recommendation would be that uh, Kevin as the chair be one of those and that the other be Robin um, just because I think her prior experience in these types of negotiations uh, as well as her kind of legislative drafting background would be really helpful um, so that that's all I had happy to answer questions you guys may have about the draft questions for Mike would someone like to make a motion I normally would, but it seems odd for me to make the motion, so I was thinking maybe I should not. Sure, I will. I move that we um, vote a delegation authority to Kevin and Robin in the upcoming negotiations in the all payer model, as outlined by Council Barber. <laughs> Is there a second? A second. Okay. Is there discussion from the board? My only discussion is that um, at the end of this first uh, five years, we've run into this virus, which I think has, you know, really kind of thrown everything up in the air greatly. And so um, I just, you know, think that we need to be very observant of that and careful as to how, you know, we move from the, the, the first all payer agreement to this revised agreement. Um, but once things settle down um, in, uh, hopefully a virus free world that this second agreement be very specific about what defines success or failure. Um, my feeling is over the first four years or five years, the infrastructure has been put in place to implement this. Um, and uh, I agree with the concept that this is a test. There's no guarantee of success, but we are, you know, kind of the, uh, the uh, uh, one of the leading States in the country trying to reform our healthcare system and, and put it on a more cost effective and health effective basis. And uh, this next agreement really clearly, I think, has to define what that means and uh, provide very clear measures as to what, what is success and, and what isn't. Other members of the board? Hearing none, before I go to a vote, I'm going to call on the public for public comment. Does any member of the public wish to comment on this motion for a delegation of authority regarding negotiations? Susan Aronoff? Yeah. Um Mr. Chair, you might not have been here the last time um, the Green Mountain Care Board negotiated the all-payer model agreement, um, but I was. I was in a different role at the time. And um, the Green Mountain Care Board had a very different chair and some very different staff members, um, some of whom, you know, just really actively brought people together to shape um, the the current agreement we're all operating under. And um, it wasn't a very open and transparent process. So whoever has the authority and however, you know, the board conducts itself with executive sessions and whatnot, I would just implore you to be as open and transparent um, and let the stakeholders and not just th those this was the quote that was given to me when I was a state employee at the time, that the meetings were closed. These were some of the Richard Slusky meetings. Unless you had money on the table, skin in the game. Uh, that was the exact quote, and I have it in an email. So I would hope that with this round, with different people and some lessons learned, that there be more transparency in the negotiation process, especially since the services that are not currently under financial services, perhaps 
those that only Medicaid pays for long-term long care um, services and supports for people with disabilities in the community. Since those services are now gonna be on the table, I would just implore you to let some sunshine in so people know um, how this agreement might impact them and people with disabilities, their family members and their service providers. So with that, thank, thank you and good luck. <laughs> thank you, Susan. Is there other comment from the public? Other comment from the public? If not, is there any further discussion from the board? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed signify by saying nay. Let the record show it was a unanimous vote. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Um, is there any old business to come before the board? Hearing none, is there any new business to come before the board? Hearing none, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Saying aye. 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 Those opposed aye. signify aye. by saying nay. Aye. So in closing, I would just like to wish everybody a very happy new year and um, please be safe over the holiday. Um, Vermont has been very good up until today, um, but we are very close to um, really having a significant portion of the population um, on schedule to get vaccinations. And I know that uh, healthcare workers have already been receiving those. And I know that uh, from talking with um, CEOs at hospitals that um, there has been a general sense of real happiness from members of the staff being able to be vaccinated. Be vaccinated. Looking forward to yeah. their second shot and that time period that would um, elapse that would then um, put them in the position that they are truly um, immunized. So with that, happy new year, stay safe and see everyone in 2021.